Oh yeah, another movie I watched. And y'all, like, these are all movies, I'll say, like, these are all films I watched in the last three weeks, pretty much. I probably watch a couple a day. It's bad. But the goal is to tell y'all about all of them. So I know a lot of these reviews are in the same fit. It's not supposed to be like that. But one day, like, I'll get my routine right. But, you know, I was up. I felt inspired. It's 4.30 in the morning right now. I just want to tell y'all about what I've been watching. So the next one I'm going to tell y'all about is um, this movie called The Forgiven. It's got one of my favorite actresses in it, Jessica Chastain. And I don't know nobody else's name that's in the movie. But it's about um, Jessica Chastain character who is a wife and her husband. They go out to this like exotic villa in the middle of Morocco somewhere to go see one of her old friends um, who's hosting like a weekend party at the villa. So it's just a, it's like, you know, a very exclusive guest list and they bring out um you know they just pretty much bringing out like all this the the highest of socialites they know to show off their villa in morocco well on the way to the morocco villa um jessica character and her husband her husband was driving who got a drinking problem um ran over this local moroccan kid and killed him they straight they killed him and um they kind of did some shady stuff after they killed him but then they went back to the, the they went all the way to the villa they found their way let them know what happened for the most part and there was a little investigation and so like basically it's, it's about the aftermath of them killing this native moroccan boy the husband ends up going um back to the village uh, to bury the boy with the boy's family and he take a lot of risk going out there as you can imagine um, uh, Jessica didn't go, she stayed at the villa, so she took a lot of risks at the villa, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but it's just about how their story unfolds, and, um, it's, like, like the White Lotus, there's a lot of that, like, rich white people, witty humor, that's, like, entertaining for a little bit, but it's just, like, enough, like, y'all really actually lack personality all together. Um, but it's cool if you can keep up with it, so... Yeah, um, and it's ironic too because I was thinking about going to Marrakesh. I was thinking about going to Morocco. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go for my birthday and Morocco was on the list. Um, but one of the reasons why Morocco was low on the list is because I did not see a lot of luxury accommodations. I do feel like if you want that luxury experience in Morocco, you got to know somebody. And while I will be one day, I'm just not there yet. I, don't, I ain't got no Moroccan plugs. So, um, yeah, it's... Um, would I call it a mystery? No. It's more just like a drama. Um, it's really sad that uh, they took this little boy's life and they were not that remorseful about it, as you can imagine. Um, and yeah, the universe does what the universe do in that movie. And that's one of the reasons why I love it. Um, I will also give this one a seven out of 10 as well for what it was. I think a seven out of 10 is gonna be, become like my average, like good review. You know, for you to be over a seven, that means like you just really had sis pondering afterwards, just thinking about life. And this one had me pondering about life in the film, but after it was over, it was over. I was like, okay, what's next? You know, so I wasn't like itching to watch it again to see what I had missed, like some of the other great films that I've watched. So give it a seven out of 10. It is on Hulu and I want to find more good stuff on Hulu because Hulu is usually one of my favorite platforms, but they've been slipping lately. Like they took Brooklyn Nine-Nine off of Hulu and put it on Peacock and I've been on Peacock. Um, I have not been faithful to Hulu, but Hulu need to do better. Bring me better contact Hulu, content Hulu, okay? Um, and yeah, The Forgiven on Hulu. Go check it out. I think that's all I'm going to say about that.